Now we might have an object, uh, maybe like this ping pong ball here, and at a certain time it's going with a certain velocity, but a short amount of time later it's maybe increased its velocity, or it's maybe decreased that velocity, or even that velocity has changed direction. But what we can then look at is how quickly that velocity changes. And this is when we come on to acceleration. So acceleration is the change in velocity divided by the time taken. It's really the rate at which the velocity of that object changes. And sometimes we're talking about a change in speed, but also we can talk about a change in direction. So um, we use the letter A for acceleration, and we represent the change in velocity as V minus U. So V is our final velocity, and U is the initial or the starting velocity. And then we represent time just as T. So this is basically how fast it was initially and then how much faster it became. And we're looking at the difference between these two numbers. Sometimes we also represent this as delta V. So delta just means change. So we can also say that A is equal to delta V divided by T. But basically this is the equation we're using. Um, now we always measure our velocity in meters per second and we measure our time in seconds. So when it comes to acceleration, we're looking at the meters per second per second. And when we write this down, uh, we can re either write it as meters per second per second, but we can see that starts to look a little bit messy. So a better way of writing it is as meters per second squared. And this is something that uh, you know happens all the time. You forget to put the squared term in. But if you're giving a unit for the acceleration of an object, we always have meters per second squared. And don't forget as well that we can have negative accelerations. So that means that something is slowing down. And that's also called a, called a deceleration.